Becky here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install any Google font on your Squarespace website. Now, there are three steps to making this magic happen, and I'm going to walk you through each and every step individually. The codes that you're going to need are posted in the description beneath this video, so after you watch the tutorial, you can grab those and get started. I also want to mention that in this tutorial, I'm using my Squarespace 7 demo site, but these codes work for 7.1 as well. So any theme family you happen to be using in any version of Squarespace, this tutorial is going to work for you. So the first step in this process is to install the font file from fonts.google.com. The second step is to name that font file. And then the third step is to use that name to apply that font to any particular type of text in your Squarespace website. Now, I know it sounds a little complicated, but trust me, the way I break it down, you'll be able to follow these steps. So first off, we're going to go to fonts.google.com to grab that font file that we need. Let's hop on over there and get started. So here we are at fonts.google.com. I'm just going to scroll down and we'll grab Calistoga for this demo. So here we are on the particular font file page and up on the top right hand side, you'll see I have the option to select this font. I'm going to click on that and at the very bottom, we'll have a little pop up that shows up that says one family selected. That means one font family. So this is where we're going to get the code for step one. We're going to select the at import option right here. And here we're going to grab this particular line of code that's between these two style brackets. Because we're putting this right in the custom CSS section of our Squarespace site, we don't need those style brackets. We just need the code that starts with at import and ends with that semicolon at the very end. Copy that code and then we'll hop over here into Squarespace where we'll install that font file. I'm going to select design and then scroll down to custom CSS. And here I'll just paste that code that we just got directly from Google. So that's step one. You'll notice absolutely nothing has changed on our website. That's because we still have two more steps to go. Now the next step is to grab this secondary line, which says specify in CSS. This is where we're going to tell the browser that what we're naming that particular font file. So I'm going to copy that text right there, hop back into Squarespace. And here I'm going to type at font dash face. I'm going to open a bracket and paste that code. So now we've done the second step. We've named that font family in our Squarespace website. We've got one more step to go and we're going to use that same code. We're going to enter a new line and this is where we can specify the particular type of text that we want this font family to apply to. So for example, heading one is also known as H1 in CSS. So I'm going to type H1 open bracket and then paste that name. And you'll notice right away my heading one has updated, but nothing else on my website has. So let's say I want this to be a paragraph text instead. Instead of H1, I'll just type the letter P. And now all of my paragraph text is going to use that particular Google font. So you can specify different headings, different paragraph types, even buttons if you like, or even your site title. Options are endless. Any type of text on your Squarespace website can have your custom Google font used instead. So that's it for this tutorial. It was a pretty simple process, but all three steps are listed for you below along with the codes that you're going to need. Again, to grab those font file URLs, you're going to need to go to fonts.google.com and they have a list of, I think, over 900 for you to choose from. So a lot of options. All right, that's it for now. Oh, also make sure you select save when you're done. So that does stay applied to your website. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you want to learn more about CSS for Squarespace, be sure to subscribe because I post a new tutorial every week. Thanks again for watching and have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now.